The first step to building any PC is ordering all your parts and watching them come in. These parts include the CPU, the motherboard, memory, a CPU cooler, an SSD, a hard drive, a video card, a power supply unit, and a case, and an optical drive if you want one. They may sound like a lot of parts to learn about in order, but this website here, www.logicalincrements.com, has all the basic information needed to buy PC parts on a budget and learn about their individual uses. You can't learn everything there is to learn from this website alone, but it's a good place to start to learn how to spend your money efficiently when building a PC. The more money you are willing to spend, the better PC you'll have in the end. I spent $700 on this PC. These are all my parts after they were delivered from the online retailers I bought them from. These include websites like Amazon.com and Newegg.com. Now all there is to do is start assembling. The absolute first thing that must be done after opening your PC parts is that you have to plug your CPU into your motherboard. This is one of the most dangerous parts of the process. If you don't align the socket in the CPU correctly, you could end up breaking both. Now that the CPU can communicate with the motherboard, there's another problem that has to be dealt with. The CPU can get extremely hot, reaching upwards of 200 degrees Fahrenheit because of all the electricity that runs through it to keep the calculations going. For that reason, CPUs come with heatsink fans to divert all the heat away so that the CPU can function without literally burning itself up. But the heatsink that C Intel gives us is kind of wimpy. For what I'll be doing, I need something more hardcore, so I bought this. After around an hour of painful work reading a manual written in only Chinese with only a few pictures, I got the heatsink fan installed. Then I had to install RAM. RAM is memory that can be quickly accessed by the CPU, which is why it's placed right next to the processor in these slots. It's probably the easiest part, you just have to push down until you hear a click. As you can see, there are four RAM slots here, but only two sticks of RAM. The slots that the RAM go in are listed in the motherboard manual. At this point, everything that has to be installed on the motherboard is taken care of. Now what I need to do is to install all of this onto the actual computer case using a couple of screws called motherboard standoff that fit on the holes in the case. There are holes on the motherboard that will line up to these standoffs and then you can use another type of screw to secure the motherboard onto these standoffs. This is the hard drive. This is where the operating system and all of the programs and files that you put on your computer will stay. Putting the hard drive in the case is one of the easiest steps. You just have to attach it to the hard drive rail seen here and slide the whole thing into the hard drive cage in the case. Installing my SSD, which is basically faster storage space to install Windows on, was a similar process. Installing the DVD drive was exactly the same except on the top of the case instead of the bottom. As you can see the power supply unit is installed in the bottom left corner which is basically just a matter of placing the power supply unit and securing it with two screws. Now there is a huge mess of wires that I need to connect. These wires carry power and data across components. Personally my favorite part of the PC is definitely the video card which crunches graphical data and spits out the results onto the screen giving me amazing video game performance. If you don't plan on playing video games, you don't need one. 
This fits into a slot on the motherboard and has to be screwed in on the side. Here I've plugged in all the wires based on the information from the manuals, but it looks kind of messy. The case came with some space in the back to store parts of the ugly looking wires away. And that's it. The entire PC is complete, ready to install Windows and start playing video games.